Shut up and sit down. Greetings, fellow Earth Travelers. Oblix here, and today I want to take just a second to talk to you about the Moto Time Drift. How y'all doing today? So this was our Watch Gang Black Tier subscription for the month of April 2019. So remember, Watch Gang Black Tier subscription is $99, and Watch Gang guarantees that the watch they send you is valued, not MSRP, but actual real street value, of $150 to $500. So they're saying, you give us the 99 bucks, we will send you a watch between $150 and $500. Let's see if that happened for the month of April. So here's the drift. We'll pull it out of the sleeve here. I will say it's a it's an interesting box. Um, got that carbon fiber look. It's definitely not carbon fiber by any means. It's quite obviously fake. Uh, but it does give it a nice aesthetic. It does give it a neat look, and they did wrap it all the way around. And it's a well wrap. You know, it's it's wrapped well, so it came out pretty nice. Let's crack this bad boy open, and there we go, the Moto Time Drift. I like the red and green inside the box. Um, it's not well padded up here at the top, at the very top up here, and it's a nice thick, chunky pillow. Uh, Let's get this guy off of the pillow. So we can take a closer look at him. And inside your typical, you know, normal blah blah. You just get a card of warranty and some silica gel. So let's get this out of the way and take a closer look at the Moto Time Drift. All right, here we go. Got you guys moved in. Taking a close up look. And you can see the styling. We've got a non-movable tachyometer around the side. Obviously a chronograph with two pushers and a crown. Not a screw down crown, just a traditional crown. Uh, some red accents on the word tachyometer. Half the uh, chronometer or good grief. Half of the chronograph sweep hand is red. And rings around the triple wheels are red as well. We've got the traditional clock second hand down at the six o'clock the tenths of seconds over here at the three o'clock and the one minute marker over here at the nine o'clock we've got a date window also circled in red with a white date window at the 430 we've got painted on uh, hour markers you know all just bars and they are loomed the loom is weak uh, on this piece overall. Um, the hour and minute hands uh, have this uh, little slice out of the center to give them some character. It's relatively easy to acquire when you're reading it. Um, this uh, sweep second hand is a little bit tougher to read with just that red on there, but it is still legible. And they've got this, um, what they call on their website, lightweight carbon fiber dial. Now, I'm going to call straight up BS on that. Uh, this, there's, it is simply not carbon fiber. And I'm going to put some close-up pictures in so you guys can see for yourself. Don't take my word for it. You look for yourself and you tell me if you think this is actually carbon fiber or not. I don't think it is. Obviously, I haven't disassembled the watch and checked it for myself, but uh, I think it's just a piece of plastic. It's designed to look like carbon fiber. I've never seen carbon fiber that looks like this, and the weaves don't go all the way under as they would in any type of weave material. I've looked at it under a magnifying glass, 48 power, looked at it under the camera with the uh, extreme zoom lens, and I just, I'm not seeing it. But you guys tell me, what do you think? Uh, I think they would have been better off saying carbon fiber like dial, and I, I would have given them a pass on it. But you know, saying lightweight carbon fiber dial, you know, you're sketchy. You're sketchy. Uh, so you've already lost some trust with me on that one. It is just mineral glass. They tell you straight up on their website. Nothing fancy there. Um, they do do the uh, marketing ploy of sapphire coated 
mineral glass to try and get you to think sapphire, but let's be straight up, sapphire coated in the real world as you use it day to day is no more protective. Sapphire coated mineral glass is no more protective than just mineral glass. You might be able to test it in a chemistry lab and find it to be slightly tougher, but I'm talking real world, you banging into door jams. It's not going to protect your watch anymore. A piece of sapphire glass won't scratch. A piece of mineral glass or sapphire coated mineral glass absolutely will. So real world work, no better than just mineral glass. It's a total marketing ploy. Now we said that uh, in our previous video, actually talking about this guy here, this Nautis Global Dive, sapphire coated mineral glass, same thing. Uh, you'll hear me say it every time they put that marketing gimmick on top of there. It's just to get you to think the word sapphire. Now this is running the Miyota 6S20 movement. So at least they went out for a quality Japanese movement. You know, Miyota makes great stuff. Uh, it did not come centered. If this were in a display case in the mall or you know, a department store, I would accept that. I don't accept it straight from the factory, which is where this guy should have come. Straight from the factory, you guys should have centered it before you sent it to me. Simple as that. Uh, you know, in a store, you know, kids pounding on the buttons all day, parents pounding on the buttons all day. Yeah, it's going to get a little out of skew. I understand that. I'm going to fix it. No problem. Again, not a huge deal, just a nuisance. And to show you that motor time doesn't really, you know, they don't take that extra level of care that I expect at this price point. Now, motor time says this watch is worth $315, which they're out of their flipping mind. But, you know, let's take you at face value and say, yeah, I agree with you. It's worth $315. I have expectations at $315 that aren't being met with you guys setting the chronograph correctly, uh, lining the hands, things like that at that price point. It's just an expectation. Okay, let's take a look at the back here. And that's in super fancy, just their logo. Uh, all stainless steel, chronograph, you know, basic stuff. Uh, 100 meters water resistance. Uh, so, splash proof, basically. Uh, would definitely wouldn't even worry about that with the, the leather strap. Um, no markings if this is genuine or leather or not. We don't know. You know, it just says leather. We don't know real leather, fake leather. Could be anything. Uh, it feels actually decent. I'm, I'm not going to knock the leather. It's it's definitely not high quality leather. You can definitely tell it's not Horween or any such thing. Uh, it's low quality, but it, it feels leatherish. So we'll give them a pass. Uh, they got some nice red stitching there to accent the watch, which I do like. They do have a branded crown with their logo there. Uh, nothing on the pushers, just straight pushers. So one thing about this piece is the lugs. These guys, and I'm talking this way here, measuring from between my two fingers, are the largest lugs I've ever come across. These things are ginormous, unbelievably huge. See how they sink way past the base of the watch? It's absolutely huge, and believe me, you feel that on the wrist. Uh, that adds a ton of weight, and it, it extends further down your wrist this way, on both sides and you absolutely feel that and it actually makes it fairly uncomfortable at least to me. The subjective, some guys with different size wrists may like it. Um, I can imagine if you have a smaller wrist this is going to be very uncomfortable. Now I do have a 7 inch wrist and to me it's uncomfortable. So my guess is, and that's just a guess, that if you have a say 6 and 3 quarters, 6, you know, six and a half, whatever, that you're going to have uh, additional issues with this. I think guys with bigger wrists may run into issues as well because these things may poke into the side of the wrist because they hang down so low. You'd have to have a pretty massive wrist though. We're talking over eight. Uh, but I know a few guys that have over eight so you know it, it's a thing. Um, actually I should probably should have gotten one of them to wear this just to see if it was if it did because these are pretty sharp. You know these the ends of the lugs here are pretty darn sharp and will you know, dig in if they're poking into your skin. So just something to be conscientious of, you know, depending on what size wrist you have, something to look at. Uh, we'll see if I can actually get a measurement on this, how thick it is with the lug dip, because uh, it is, it's insane. 
on this particular piece here. So I do like that they included the quick releases on the, the uh, straps here. And we got a free float second keeper and captive first keeper, God's intended way. And we got a branded buckle as well. Now the polish and the brushwork, uh, it's a mix of each. So you got brush on the sides, brush around the tachyometer here, and some polish uh, on the edges, as well as, of course, the back. Uh, they did a pretty good job. It's actually pretty decent quality. It looks nice. Give them credit for that. So let's take a look at the specs on this guy. We'll pop him on the scale. And we see that he is 110 grams. Now, a lot of that weight, again, is in these massive, massive lugs, because that's all just dead weight stainless steel. Uh, and actually, let's get our ounces as well. 3.8 ounces, so not by any means the heaviest piece, but again, heavier than it should be because of these extended, highly drooped lugs. So break out the calipers, and let's get some measurements on this guy. So size without the crown, we are looking at a 45, but once you add the crown, we are looking at a 50 lug to lug is a massive 57 absolutely huge thickness will be fairly reasonable at a 13 but now let's see if I can find a way to get that ridiculous lug in there as well almost 17 with that lug just huge Again, it is something you're really going to have to be careful of and feeling. Uh, I would definitely recommend trying one on before you buy it. Not that you can, because you can't buy these anywhere. But uh, just because of that, with your wrist, it may, may cause you some problems. At least make sure you get a good return policy. Uh, it is a 24 in, or 24 millimeter uh, lug, so it's going to be a little harder to find straps for it. Uh, but 24 is a reasonable size, so you will be able to find them. So let's take a look at the loom. Uh, pop a loom shot in here. You can see it is pretty awful, and it does not last any time at all. So do not buy this if you if you uh, are a an Illuminati. You like loom? Uh, don't waste your time. Uh, it's it's very poor, very cheap Chinese. So let's get this guy on the wrist. Again, we are wearing our Nautis. Global Dive, which is our watch game black tier subscription for the month of March. A pretty decent piece. So, And I will put the rev the uh, unboxing for the Motor Time down in the down yonder. And if I remember, I'll try to put the link to the Nautis as well, because the Nautis is actually a pretty decent piece. So let's get the uh, Motor Time on wrist. And the leather definitely feels not great but it's not terrible you know it's it's smooth it's it's not terrible um, no AR coating whatsoever on that flat slab of glass it will cause you problems out in you know in the office and under fluorescent lighting where you have light you know shooting in from all different directions you know reflecting off of here it's gonna cause you some some reading problems out in the Sun you should be fine though uh, it is a large piece now this is what I'm talking about see those lugs how far they drape down the side of my wrist and how you know they hang out really far this way but then they also come really far down this way and it just it makes it uncomfortable over time when you first put it on it's not too bad but when you wear it throughout the day it does start to wear on you and it starts to feel very uncomfortable you can see what I'm saying you know if you have larger wrist these are gonna be digging into you you know if your wrist is wider then this is going to be digging into the side of your wrist. If your wrist is smaller, then let's see if I can demonstrate. I don't know if I can or not. You know, if this guy is pulling in like this, then you can see how it's sticking out so far. It's just going to feel weird. You know, it's just going to feel way too big for your wrist. Even though the, the face may not be too big, the lugs definitely are. Miyota movement, check. That's a good one. Mineral glass, sapphire coated. Eh. Uh, basic bog standard quartz chronograph. Nothing to write home about, right? 
this is my issue with this piece. It's not that it is in and of itself a horrible piece. It's decent. If you like the styling of it, guys, I will never pick on you. If I find you out in the wild and you're wearing a watch that I do not like, I'm not going to pick on you. Like what you like. I like what I like. I have some crazy watches that I trust me nobody likes. It's okay, and I don't care. I like them, so I'm just going to wear them, and I don't care who doesn't like them. Just like you shouldn't care if I don't like your piece. It's fine. I'm going to respect the fact that you like it. Because we all have our own taste. So if you like the looks of this piece, you like the styling on this piece, man, go pick it up. Have at it. Enjoy yourself. I won't say anything about it. I'm just trying to give you my impressions so you can make a more intelligent purchase. So you can buy something that's the best for you. Now, my problem with this piece, the specs are very low for $100. Remember Watch Gang? Black Tier is a $100 subscription, right? At $100, this watch is not worth $100. But Watch Gang is telling us it's worth between $150 and $500. There's no chance. I can look at cheap Chinese websites and find similar watches with carbon fiber dials for $32. Look very similar to this. Okay guys, hopefully I can use these websites to help explain what I'm talking about here. There are rumors within the watch gang community that watch gang is well, some folks will say that Watch Gang owns these brands, the J Brackets and the Motor Times, and are pushing these watches out on their customers. I don't think that's necessarily true, um, but I do think it more likely that Watch Gang has funded these companies to produce these watches, the J Brackets and these Motor Times. These are small, unknown companies that didn't exist before Watch Gang. And all of a sudden, they've popped up their pop-up company with enough funding to go out and produce enough watches to fund to feed the watch gang beast, which has you know or tens of thousands of customers. Where does this little unknown company get enough money to go produce all these watches? Well, I think that's coming from Watch Gang. I think Watch Gang's probably, and this is just a guess, speculation that Watch Gang is feeding them the money, going, produce a watch under this price point so that we can make a whole bunch of money. As you can see, the MSRP is $315 on this Motor Time Drift. This is the model we have, the DR1777. Um, again, Watch Gang's valuing it, t telling us that it's valued between $150 and $500. You can see the spec list right in front of you. I don't see anything on this spec list that puts it at $150 price point. Case in point, we can pop over here to AliExpress. We can check them out, and we see that this Alexis running a Miyota, just like the Motor Time, with the carbon fiber dial and a rotatable tachyometer is $32. Now you tell me, where are they coming up with 118 extra dollars for this piece right here, this motor time? There's a $118 difference between $32 and $150 if we go to the minimum of the scale. If we go to the 500, then we're way out of line, but even Motor Time says it's only worth 315 So, I mean, I, I, I'm not seeing it, guys. I'm just not seeing it. If we come down here and get a better photo, you know, we definitely have the carbon fiber dial. We know we have the Miyota. We have a stainless steel bracelet with full links. Not a bad piece. It is mineral crystal. Where is the $118 difference, Watch Gang? You tell me. I don't see it. I'm asking you in good faith. This is 32 bucks. It looks incredibly similar to this guy. 
where's the $118 price difference? Show me the value you're putting on the table. I do think Watch Gang funded the purchase or the creation of these watches. I do think they're they bought them for significantly less than a hundred bucks, and they pushed them out to us probably around the thirty-two dollar price point. And they're making, you know, a fairly significant profit on these. And I think that lets them bring out things like the Spinnaker we got a few months back, or the uh, the Melbourne that we got a few you know back in January. I think that helps to get those higher end pieces by them pushing out these really low end, really inexpensive pieces that, that it gets a lot of flack in the watch gang exchange for sure. Every time you can tell whenever one of these pieces drops, there's a flood of entries in the watch gang exchange about how people don't like them. You know, what's going on? Why are we getting this? Watch gang owns this company. Again, I don't think watch gang owns the company, but I do think they are playing with the owners and using the owners to get what they want, which is a piece to send out to people at a very low price with a very high profit margin. Now, what would I wear? The, how would I wear this guy? I, honestly, I really wouldn't. Uh, it's, it's not a piece for me. But where you could wear it, you could wear it at the office. Uh, it would actually look pretty decent with a suit, with, paired with a proper suit. Uh, just out sporting. Now with the leather, it's going to get a little goopy if you start getting sweaty. So be wary of that. Uh, it's definitely not a nighttime piece. The loom is not up to snuff to handle that. It is a daytime only piece. Uh, you know, so casually with t-shirts, polo shirts, things like that, you could get away with it. Again, you could put you know, put it with a suit on a cuff. Um, it's definitely not going to impress anybody. You know, if you're wearing a suit you might be trying to impress people this is not going to impress people so you know you may want to spend a few more dollars get a Seiko something like that actually for this price you could get a Seiko and uh, then you at least have some street cred but that is going to do it for the Motor Time Drift our Watch King Black Tier subscription for the month of April our second to last month we have one more watch to go as always, I so do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me, and until next time, y'all get out there and make some noise. See ya.